It's been a long time since we looked at a Paladin mini PC, and the previous one made the top 5 list, so I'm expecting good things. The WI6, or Y6 as I'm going to call it, is another Intel N150 mini PC amongst the sea of many, but I'm always fine with another good one being available. Peldon's Y6 is very thin and light, with plastic and build quality that feels suitably budget, but looks decent and works pretty well overall, which is more important. Inside is the budget N150, a 4 core, 4 thread Intel CPU with UHD graphics. Nothing amazing for the price, but still used by many for various usage cases. The N150 is a slight upgrade over the N100 reviewed many times before, and the biggest gain for the N150 is on the iGPU side. Peldon includes a VESA mount, screws, HDMI cable, manual, and 12V 3 amp power supply, which is all you need for these lower power chips. On Amazon.com, it's under $160 US dollars, and there's a 5% off coupon currently. For that price, you get a 512GB SSD and 16GB of DDR4 RAM. Or you can slash the price by around $40 to get half the storage and memory. The Y6 is a bit more expensive on the official website. Port selection is okay for the dollars, including a 3.5mm audio jack, a full featured USB-C 10 gigabit supporting power delivery and display up to 4K 60Hz, which would have been better located on the back for that usage case, but this is what we get. Next to it we have dual USB 3 10 gigabit. The back has dual HDMI 2.0, again maxing out at 4K 60Hz, and dual USB 2. For wide networking, Peladon includes a Realtek Gigabit LAN jack. The Y6 uses a budget Realtek chip for wireless and Bluetooth. Now let's check out its insides. I'm so glad Peladon hasn't hidden the screws under the rubber feet, so I won't need to attend another shrink session after this review. Once you remove the screws, there's no easy way to pluck out the lid, so I got it out with a prying tool, but it should be easier than this. Inside is a 16GB stick of DDR4 3200RAM and M.2 SATA SSD. The M.2 slot also supports NVMe drives, but only at Gen 3 X1 speed so it's not much of an upgrade. The M.2 wireless card is also easily accessible if you want to change it. Peladon includes Windows 11 Pro, and the OS is clean of malware and filthy rootkits when testing with malwarebytes. Ubuntu has worked fine with all N150 minis recently, and this one is no different. With so many N150 minis out there, it's hard to stand out, and on feature set, the Y6 is pretty plain Jane so it needs to do well in performance, cooling, and fan noise, since the price is reasonable. In single core Cinebench, it's one of the better performers, taking a spot near the top of the chart. I'm also happy to see it performs like an N150 should in multi-core out of the box, with no bias tweaks required. The Geekbench single core score is very good, taking second spot on the chart. Multi-core is less impressive, even a couple of N100s come out ahead. This is usually due to DDR4 being used over DDR5, which the Geekbench tests benefit from. In H.264 CPU video encoding, it's an okay performer, but a bunch of minis did better. Next up, we're taking that same video file and encoding it using Intel's QuickSync iGPU hardware encoder. The Peloton Y6 is again an average performer. It does well in 3 Mark, which tests its GPU capabilities, and the Y6 is one of the top performing N150s with DDR4 memory in Firestrike. That's also the crown it takes in Time Spy, but unfortunately not in Steel Nomad, although it's close to the other N150 minis with DDR4 memory. So overall it performs pretty well, straight out of the box. The Intel N150 is fine for browsing the web, Microsoft Office, YouTube, that sort of thing. It also has excellent video playback, with many formats not dropping any frames at 4K 60fps. While I'd never recommend it for video editing, I'm always impressed by its performance in Adobe Premiere with a 1080p project. It's doable if you really have no other option. The CPU is maxed out during the process, but playback still holds up with minimal stutter. Normally for the game tests I would try Valorant, because it requires secure boot to run, but unfortunately 
the Y6 doesn't support it since the factory keys haven't been installed. Oh, I'll let Paladin know and recommend a BIOS update. Secure Boot isn't essential, but should be included in 2025. So I tested League of Legends instead, and it runs fine on this mini. For an extra dose of entertainment, one new game is tested with Intel's N150 in each review, and this time it's the recently released Heretic Plus Hexen Remaster. I really loved these games back in the day, more than Doom actually, and I'm stoked I can replay them again with much needed modern features. And color me impressed that Heretic works fine at 4K 120fps, which looks to be the limit of this remaster. Hexen was a bit more performance hungry in the day, but it also works fine at 4K 120fps. Nice, I know what I'm doing on the weekend. Those looking to turn an N150 into an emulation box should be aware that the limit is PlayStation 2, GameCube, and Wii games at 720p for most titles. Some of the tougher to emulate games will need to drop to 480p, and you might get away with 1080p for less demanding games. Peldon has thrown in an M.2 SATA drive, which is very average speed-wise. It's fine for everyday computing, but we've tested faster drives bundled with N150 minis. The SSD doesn't have a working temperature sensor, so no maximum temp result to share. But SATA drives run very cool, and hold up okay, even without any additional cooling. An NVMe drive running at Gen 3 X1 speed should also be fine with no cooling. The Bluetooth range test wasn't great, with just over 3 meters or 10.5 feet recorded. But on the bright side, I didn't have any problems with wireless tested at 12 meters or 39 feet from the router using the 5G band. An idle power draw of 9 watts is very common and nothing special, while a 32 watt maximum is around what you can expect pushing the N150 to its performance limit. A maximum CPU temp of 84C is fine, although many minis have done better. However, not all of them get full performance out of the CPU, though it doesn't tell the full story. The Y6 is very quiet at idle, but load fan noise is around average. 35 dBA is okay, but again, there are quieter minis, and again, they might not have full performance like this one, but some definitely do. Peldon's Y6 is a very thin mini PC and takes up little volume, but on the desk, it covers similar surface area to many mini PCs on the market. Mashing the delete key gets you into the BIOS, but I didn't see the usual wake on LAN and power loss options. And as mentioned earlier, secure boot support is not working. So that's the Paladin Y6, and here's what I like and don't like about it. Performance is good out of the box. It comes with a full featured USB-C port, and the price on Amazon at least is reasonable. It doesn't come with DDR5, secure boot is missing if you need it, and Bluetooth range could have been better. A new wireless chip would also have been nice. Overall, an above average budget Intel N150 mini PC. I've got another Paladin review featuring an AMD Ryzen chip coming up. Once I get that one out, it'll be right here. Cheers!